What's up? This is EasyOSX, and today we're talking about adding previous features of Mac OS X back into Line. Uh, if you've been using Line for a while, you've probably noticed a lot of the great features that Line has, from the new Mail app to AirDrop and a bunch of other stuff. But there are a couple tweaks that Apple made that a lot of people just don't like. For example, the new scrolling direction, to name one. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to get some of those features back. So to begin with, let's start with Finder. If I open Finder here, there we go. Uh, one of the things that people don't like is there's no status bar or path bar down here. It used to be in Snow Leopard that you could see how much space was on your hard drive or any kind of uh, flash drive you put in your computer. And also, if you clicked on a file or even just you know within another folder, it could show you uh, what the path was for that. To re-enable these, all you have to do is go to View in the Finder menu and hit show path bar which will give you back the path as you can see uh, this and go and show status bar so now you can see I'm selected and the amount of hard drive space you have left if we go into system preferences here there are a couple things we can tweak here to get things back to normal so for example this one's really optional you can uncheck restore windows so, for example, if you've got a writing app open, let's say uh, Pages or Bean, whatever, uh, with this option check, when the app read opens, it'll go back uh, to where you had it before, whatever document you had open. By turning this off, that won't happen again until you recheck. One other change you can make in general is changing the scroll bar settings. What Apple has done, if I go to Safari here, what Apple has done is if I don't move, if I'm just sitting on the page right here, the scroll bar is gone. But when moving my thing or going down, moving my mouse, I guess, you can see the scroll bar has shown up again. And if I hover over it, it'll stay. But I go away again and it hides itself. This is kind of nice. I actually like this feature. But some people like seeing the scroll bars. If you do, going back to system preferences here, you can change it to just when scrolling and it won't show up when your mouse is moving or change it to always. Going back here to Safari, you can see the scroll bar is back and will always stay there. Now some apps when you have it set to automatically based, some apps and browsers for example will keep the scroll bar no matter what. So it will always look like it's set to always just like you saw on Safari. Uh, that cannot be helped but in a lot of apps it will disappear on its own especially Apple made apps. So next let's go to Doc. One of the things Apple has done is, which I can't show you because I re-enabled it, but they made it to where you won't see the indicator lights for a program that's open, whether it's Finder or any of these other programs that you see. So, if you want to show them again, hit Show Indicator Lights for Open Applications. If you have it unchecked, your dock will look like nothing's open, which is kind of clean, kind of nice, but I like to see what applications have running. Now that I have it rechecked, as you can see, the lights are back on. Next, we go to the trackpad setting under System Preferences. And the real big gesture, a lot of great gestures have been added. For example, three-finger swiping on the trackpad will give you uh, moving between spaces. But one of the features that really annoyed people, so I've heard, is uh, changing the scroll direction. Which, as you can see in this video here, this video, the natural movement is what most Mac users are used to is going scrolling down and the page will go down or scrolling up and the opposite will happen but with natural direction now it's more like iOS so it's more like pushing a paper to change this all you have to do is uncheck natural direction and it'll go back to the traditional Mac way what a lot of people are used to and if you're using a mouse that supports gestures for example the magic mouse all you have to do is instead go back to the mouse setting. Well, that's all for now. This is Easy OS X, and this has been a video showing how you can add previous OS X features back into line. Be sure to check me out on Twitter at Easy OS X and on my blog, easyosx.wordpress.com. Thank you for watching.